Hi everyone, Ronnie Hair is sponsoring this Swiss Lace Fake Scalp Bob Wig. It's almost summer and a long bob is perfect for this season. Also, I'm for anything that will make my hair look better with less effort, so let's take a look at this lace and wig. Starting at 10 inches, this bob comes pre-plucked with Swiss lace and a fake scalp to make your parting and hairline look more natural. I have three samples and they kind of wanted me to show you guys how Swiss lace is different from the other guys. And yeah, it is different. I showed you demos with lace in the past. I am familiar with Swiss lace versus French lace versus other kinds of lace that are question marks. but. The Swiss lace is lighter than the regular lace and the transparent lace and it also has a color that is easy to blend with various complexions. I've seen it with YouTubers who are much lighter than I am and YouTubers who are in my shade range and they seem to all have a pretty decent experience with the Swiss lace. Of course, uh, every company is different so you never know how they source their lace. For me, saying something like Swiss lace or French lace or transparent lace it usually means nothing to me because not all Swiss lace is equal not all lace is equal even if it has the same name it just might be different just like not all cotton fabric is the same not all silk fabric is the same and this is a fabric so it is time to take a bath while I reflect on how I want the final look to be Usually that's when I do my planning, when I'm washing the hair, trying to figure out, mm, do I want a side part, do I want a middle part? As I was washing, it kind of fell into a side part naturally. The silky texture is gonna need some curls, and I'm thinking barrel curls as I'm washing the hair, maybe a soft barrel curl, easy, effortless, I don't have to do too much work, and I'll have an opportunity to test the hair and see how well it curls. So let's soak up this excess moisture in my turban towel by Swirly Curly and move on. Here is my air dried wig. The fake scalp is padded for comfort, I'm assuming. I kinda like this. There are bleached knots on the hairline for a more natural finish. We have combs, adjustable straps, and an elastic band anchor. I need to cut my lace. Be careful. If you have baby hairs on your unit, you do not want a funny looking hairline, especially when it's been plucked so beautifully. Since I have a history of burning myself, I'm going to use my hot comb and my curling iron right now. And I'm just going to smooth it out nicely and expose my part. Now I'm going to put my hair in sections so I have an easy time curling it. And I'm using my one and only curling iron, one and a quarter inches in diameter. I've had this for <laughs> so many years. I honestly cannot say. It's been well over five years six, seven, maybe, I don't know, eight years. I've had this forever and I love it to death. It is the one heat styling tool that has never failed me or broken on me. I love it. First, I'm going to curl going to the back. Then I'm going to use my magnetic rollers to hold the curl in place. I'm gonna secure the rollers with a duckbill clip because I do not like the snap on feature and I feel like it's going to create creases in my curls and that's just not attractive. And this is what I've been rocking, a short bob by my first wig since it's kind of hot outside and I just did some barrel curls in this as well so I could have that wavy look instead of the super straight look. Sometimes I just don't look good with a straight bob but I did promise you guys that I'll come back and show you my curled hair. This is what I settled on, something very simple, everyday, basic. And we're gonna do the same thing on this wig. Let's get started. Whew, off you go. I have been wearing a wig grip band so that I don't have too much shifting with my middle part wig. There are pins here that need to come out first. I don't want to damage my lace. I think this is a medium cap size. Take a look at this. Even without got to be glued, this lace looks great against my skin. So you can totally get away with a lazy moment and just abandon the gels all together and protect the edges. So I'm going to go in with my got to be glued styling spiking glue and 
I'm gonna put it in right around the part area and toward the center so that I can have a nice anchor point and then I'm gonna work out until all of the lace is done. I'm gonna use the free spray now. I'm gonna spray it down on a surface. I'm doing this until my got to be glued appears to be disappearing. I don't want it white, I want it clear. I probably should get closer because I've been far away for so long. Press down on the part area, make sure that's secure. At the very least, the part must go down. And I do have a little bit of lace in front here. Go ahead and anchor that as well. There, very good, very nice. Mm -hmm. What I'm using is like the residual got to be glued from my brush and this will just kind of press in the lace. Anywhere on the edges where I have lace flapping I can do that and it won't you know create a cast or anything. It's not going to look bad. It's going to just kind of blend. Alright so the next thing I'm going to do is go in with my blow dryer. Low heat high speed. The density and length are really good for me. I think this one is 14 inches long, so everything's perfect. Lace looks amazing. Really good. Didn't have to do baby hairs. They kind of just manifested themselves. Well, not really. I just kind of swooped, so it looks good. It looks fine. Day one curls are usually stubborn. Over time, the curls will get better. Day two hair is going to be amazing, but I love this very soft and feminine look, and I do appreciate the fact that this straight hair can hold a curl. That's it. I am going to let this hair fall over time. I'll have all details down below about the hair and the tools that I've used. And I would like to say a huge thank you for watching. As always, questions, comments, do you like this hair? Let me know down below. And I look forward to talking to you in my next one. Bye.